Hello everyone, uh, this is Bidasaka Salam from Pass Media and starting from this video onwards, let's do a video series on how to create a WordPress website, a car servicing website with Elementor Pass Builder. Here, uh, we will replicate this template. This is a simple car servicing website template with uh, yeah, basic five pages about uh, services, containers uh, and the likes. This is a basic website and easy to build and yeah, we can do it with element, element of free version with the free widgets without spending extra bucks. Uh, yeah, you can buy a domain and a web hosting and that's it. You can do everything yourself. You do not have to spend extra bucks to design this website. So yeah, this is an affordable method of designing website. I have already installed this website, car services, or press install WordPress, let's log in. Okay. That's it. and appearance themes let's check out the theme for us uh, we will use yeah this yeah 2021 theme and let's delete all this use less themes Okay, that's it. And I'm using WordPress 5.8, um, yeah, develop, developing or beta version, alpha version, yeah, I've done right. This is not a stable release. I'm using the, yeah, beta version. Okay, uh, let's customize this 2021 theme. There is not much to customize. We can yeah, upload the logo and change the color, background color. By default, this is light green, change to white. Okay. Publish it. That's it. And post. Let's delete this default post. We do not need it. Press this. Okay, now we can delete this sample page and this one too. Uh, let's delete all this one. Okay, and in the permanent settings, permanent links. Post name, sentences. Okay, that's it. And and it, this is in local development environment. Develop in warm warm server. And if if you are developing designing your website in the lab server, means the web hosting account you in your lab web hosting account. Then before you make any changes or install any plugins and all. First, install uh, activate the SSL. The SSL by installing SSL uh, plugin like Simple SSL. For example, yeah, Simple SSL. 
install and this install this plugin and activate before you install other plugins and make any changes in your website and my uh, website current web, develop, uh, developing website is in local environment so i do not have the facility for ssl certificate I did, so uh, let's skip this step and install elementor plugin plugin Elementor website builder compulsory and Elementor header footer and blocks template compulsory for Elementor free and sticky header effects for Elementor compulsory for Elementor free. If you are using Elementor Pro, then you do not need these two plugins. But if you have free version, then you need these two plugins to design header and footer. Of your WordPress website and uh, let's install this henna extension for Elementor uh, this is one of the best free extension that I often often use because of the uh, simple and uh, flexibility And we will need a form designer for that. Uh, we have to install a form designer. Let's use this map form. This is one of the popular. Uh, element of form builder add on. This two plugin is installing. Uh, let's wait a few seconds. You can also skip for fast forward this portion of the video. And meanwhile, let's explore first. First of all, uh, let's design the header by creating a menu. And second, let's let's design the home page first. This uh, design is not complicated, simple layout, yeah, but simple and uh, elegant. Gallery page block page we can have five pages about services gallery and contact in the home page okay now go to the install plugins and delete this to hello dolly and i will not use this and select all these plugins and bug selection activate the applied okay in the sign extension for Elementor uh, in the widgets area you can uh, deactivate uh, disable the useless uh, widgets that you are not going to use but by, um, by default keep this all the widgets you are not sure uh, which widgets are going to use and which are not going to use we are going to explore all the way so keep them and now in the pages now there is about block and now unless uh, delete this block we are going we are not going to use block page but about contact let's add home page and gallery page Yeah, this is the by the full screen by default. Let's uh, deactivate the full screen mode here like this, and let's call it home pass or simple home. Pass attribute element of full white. Publish it. 
and let's create another page let's call it gallery element of full white publish it okay that's it and in the settings appearance uh, settings reading front page we let's assign the home page in the front page section this okay and um, now we have already created the, the basic five pages that we need for our website let's get the menu appearance menus yeah by default there is this primary menu okay then let's remove this one home about home by default is okay and contact page then gallery add to menu gallery what pages we are missing okay we are missing the services page okay let's uh, save this menu for us Okay, and let's create a new page. Let's call it services. Element and full white. Publish. Okay, and let's go back to menus. And let's add the services. Here in the tar menu item. Save it. Okay. Now we have already created the menu and we can design the header if you have the logo then uh, upload your logo in the customizer appearance customize here side entry select logo you can upload the logo here and if you do not have the logo then use the text logo side title now let's design our header appearance header footer and blocks Add a new template. Let's call it header. Header template for entire website for all users. Login or uh, not login. Element the canvas template. Publish it. Okay, it did with Elementor. Now we're going to use two column section. Yeah, two column section like this. But you can align middle. Mm -hmm. Or space evenly. And then side title car services and if you want to use icon you can use it here car <laughs> okay <laughs> and black icon let's copy this color this orange red uh, services okay in the title here you can change the typography size for example you can change the size uh, and phones by default it is roboto keep this default if you have any desired or preferable um, phone tab then let's add menu navigation menu here layout alignment to the right side by default this is it and 
you can change the menu icon for mobile phones insert it here as you can see in the mobile mode yeah this is the one and yep 75 sorry 75 and this one 25 okay and here let's reduce this typography font size 30 okay in for mobile phone like this okay that's it update it and let's go back to desktop okay for active color let's change it is it here style hover or active color let's change this color to yeah red like this mm -hmm. update it okay let's go to the section setting advanced here is the header effects this uh, this feature is uh, provided or enabled by the plugin that we installed before the sticky header effects for elementor the free plugin enable it transfer header no we are not going to use transfer header but white background here like this uh, background color button border stick string header string logo no no changes just enable it by default that's it update it we are done if you have any yeah preference or yeah uh, then that's it this is the that's the header simple now we can start designing our home page Is this home page? Yeah, it did it. It did it with the Elementor. Okay, and there is the our header and the home page let's design in the next part of this video series uh, that's it for this video and i hope this video series helpful to you in designing a wordpress website uh, my layout and my template and then this is not maybe not maybe the most beautiful or most attractive web design but this is simple and suitable for more affordable websites and suitable for beginners and if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, like, comment uh, this video.